Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and today I actually wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on the whole Watch Dogs Legion situation. So by now, we all know that Watch Dogs Legion has been delayed because of the poor reception of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I believe it was. So they delayed the game just to make sure they got all the kinks out, make sure it was the best game it possibly could have been. Now, I do think that Watch Dogs Legion would have been a great game if they were on time for their March 6th release date, but I don't mind them taking extra time to develop the game. Just like we learned with Just Cause 4, I'd rather have a finished game that takes four years than an unfinished game that it takes three years. So imagine if there's a really cool feature in the game uh, when it comes out that wouldn't have been in the game if they didn't take the extra year of development time. You know, it's like stuff like this that you never really can account for because people get good ideas and you're like, oh, wait, we should do this. This is way better than the thing we already have. So I think that it's, it's going to open up a lot of opportunities for uh, different features in the game. And I, I feel like it's just going to be a, a way more complete game when it comes out. But in all honesty, I kind of just hope they would have waited until E3 2020 to release the game and I know E3 is technically not happening or just E3 2020 to announce the game and then have it come out in 2021 I feel like that would have been a lot better than uh to have it announced uh what was it announced E3 2019 so we're waiting a whole almost a whole full two years from its announcement date to its actual release date um which I mean there's absolutely no way they could have known that Ghost Recon Breakpoint wasn't going to do well but I just feel like they could have waited just overall they could have just waited to talk about it just not said anything I, sure we would have been a little bit disappointed to have no watchdogs news at e3 but i mean in the long run you know we would have been waiting for less time and i actually did hear that microsoft is allowing them to use their dev kits on non-ubisoft computers you know with everyone working at home now you know it's it's really cool that they're going to be able to still continue to work on watchdogs legion as everyone is working from home and to be honest, I really, really hope that Watch Dogs Legion does well. Like before, you know, if Watch Dogs 2 or what, you know, I just like to play the game. I don't care about sales, but this one, this is kind of like the make or break one. You know, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed is always going to have a game. What do they have, like 30 games at this point? So Assassin's Creed, the, there's always going to be a fan base for Assassin's Creed, but Watch Dogs is new. Only came out, to, started coming out 2014, 2013 that area and a lot of people didn't like the first two games that's what i've been seeing a lot is a lot of people didn't like it so there were a lot of people who either thought the game was mediocre or just didn't like it at all and the only people still playing it nowadays are the core fan base i think if Watch Dogs legion doesn't do well critically then it probably won't get another game which is kind of disappointing but the fact that we're even getting another game at all is just i, I mean i love it you know it's like I've, I've played so many hours of Watch Dogs in Watch Dogs 2 that I'm just, I'm ready for something new. I mean, I can still play those games all day, don't get me wrong, but Watch Dogs, I mean, I just, I just want something new, a new story. And up until now, I haven't really looked at anything. I mean, I did a reaction to the, uh, the E3 unveiling in 2019, but I haven't, you know, I, I, I haven't looked at any of the gameplay or any of the things that they've been releasing because I, I kind of want it to be a, a surprise like as in like the same feeling I got when I first got into Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2. I just went into the games blind. I knew literally nothing about them other than they were based on hacking and it was a great experience. So I'm, I'm going to continue to not really look at gameplay. I know about the play as anyone aspect of the game. I think that's really cool, but I'm not really going to be looking at any of the promotional stuff or the gameplay that they've released until the game comes out. I'm fine waiting another year. If we're being completely honest, I'm, I'm completely fine waiting a whole another year. And that just gives me more time to make more videos about Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2 because I, I just have so many ideas for those games. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I want to talk about. Sorry this was a little bit unconventional it's uh, more of a discussion type video uh, let me know if you guys want more of this and let me know your thoughts and opinions on the whole watchdogs legion situation down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys later peace